Hello, today we're going to be installing the site kiosk version 9. Um, if you don't have this already, I will have the link to the download in the description. But let's go ahead and get started. Right now I'm just running the install. So we're just waiting for this to get ready. Accept the terms of service. Just want to go ahead and do the standard install. Now this part right here is for the VNC. Um, if you want to manage this, re manage this remotely, then I suggest you install this. If not, go ahead and hit no. But I'm going to want to manage this um, workstation remotely, so I'm going to go ahead and have that install VNC, and then go ahead and run the install. Okay, once you get to the screen, go ahead and hit finish. And then we'll wait for this to load up here. All right, now it's loading the configuration and we're gonna wanna configure this to um, the website we desire that we want it to boot up to. Go ahead and hit don't show again. Hit okay. And this is just letting you know um, to make it 100% um, secure. You want to deactivate the power button, um, the boot sequence, you don't want it to boot up to a CD or a USB thumb drive in case someone plugs that into the device, um, etc. So if you want to configure those things you can. Um, right away you want to go to the start page and browser. And you can see it does support Chrome now. So click on Chrome. And let's just say for testing purposes, we'll just type in, um, I guess, uh, let's put it in the Night Pros. And then if we want to test it, we can test it. Um, so you can see that it actually opens up Chrome and loads the web page. And you can see it does. So, we'll close out of that. Go back to password. You want to choose escape key. And then just type in the desired password you want to have protect. Um, so people can't just exit out of the kiosk mode. And then that's pretty much it. Go ahead and um, at the top and hit save. Save your configuration. And it's going to go ahead and let's go ahead and hit run and use new configuration. Now we can go ahead and do start once to do a full test to make sure it's what we're looking for. Or we can do auto start, which will actually reboot the computer and it will start in a, in a new user account with everything restricted but the web browser. So let's go ahead and hit auto start. And then the computer will reboot now. It's coming back up and it should go right into that new restricted user with only allowing us to go to that one website. You can see it's already auto logging us in. Sometimes this takes a minute or so. Okay, you can see that it didn't really start Chrome yet because it has, this is the evaluation copy. Um, so you want to register your device, but for this purposes, we're just to register later. Um, and now it will load the actual <coughs> web browser with that web page. Um, but yeah, what you want to do is make sure you register it so you don't get that pop up because um, that will delay it. Um, but you can see just a couple more and more minutes and it'll actually load that web page that we told it to load. <clears throat> and there you go. So you can see it loads that web page only. Now you can also see at the top, if you do want it full screen mode, you can click on the um, full screen button to make the web page actually full screen. Um, but yeah, there you go. 
If you need any more help or anything else, there will be um, some notes in the description to an article on how to set this up. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please leave your comments below. Thank you.